This is the bathroom we're starting with. I'm very grateful for it. Big fan of the all white. I think it looks fairly neat and clean. But it could, you know, he's um, sprucing up a little. Here's what I'm thinking. I want white, I want nature, and I want gold. The first thing is that I've always liked those showers with tiles from like the bottom to the top all over. Does that serve a purpose? I don't know, but it looks cool. So we're gonna go to the hardware store and look for the same kind of tiles that are already stuck to our walls. Find out that it's not available anymore so we convince ourselves that maybe using a different tile design would look good too. Maybe like a two-tone-ish look. But then we come back a few days later and suddenly the original tile design is suddenly available. So here's me thinking if I should go with a two-tone look, I've already convinced myself looks good, or just go with the original one. I went for the original one because I just think that the shower would look somehow taller if it's all uniform, you know? Now it's time to make and eat breakfast while well, these two very kind men install the tiles for us. And would you look at that, they're done. Ta-da! Oh, let's just clean off the edges a little bit, but basically we're done. Ta-da! Next, I am very excited for this part because for so long, we have been putting our soaps and shampoos on top of the toilet. And there's nothing wrong with that, just being resourceful using the surface area available to us. But I have decided to splurge and allow my family the luxury of shelves. We're gonna drill, install, and voila! Good job! <laughs> repeat, repeat, repeat. I also put this towel ring here. One, because it's useful. Two, because I like the shape of the circle. And three, because it's gold. <laughs> Here's the big risk we're going to take. Wallpaper. I'm pretty sure we've never used any of this before, and I never thought I would. But after scrolling through Pinterest for ours and watching a lot of sex education in their wonderfully wallpapered houses, I, 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 I'm hooked. Let me be a part of your wallpaper world. Why is this a risk, you ask? Well, it's because I did not ask my father permission to do this. It might turn out horrible, and there's a chance he's gonna ask me to take it down. However, I did pick a mostly white wallpaper, so he might be okay with it. He likes brighter walls, and I do too. So, we're, we're crossing our fingers. The wallpaper was self-adhesive, so that made the installation fairly easy. It took a lot of time though, and I had this handy little yellow thing. A lot of imperfections though. This corner here and that overlapping thing. Overlap. Guide marks, I think, showing through. This part, I ripped instead of cut, so it's not that straight. It's not straight at all, but I kinda like it. It's pretty. Overall, we're pretty happy with it. Really sets that nature theme. So yeah, wallpapers. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Just ask my mom. What do you think? <laughs> Then I asked my dad to help me change the faucet from this one to this gold bamboo looking one, which I'm very happy about. Fits the color palette, fits the nature theme, just chef's kiss. <laughs> one, two, three, go. <laughs> wow. And this faucet too, which is gold too. By the way, I just found out that hardware furniture things almost always cost more just because it's gold or brass colored. Like these gold clamps we use for the shelves. Silver and black versions, costs X pesos. Gold or brass versions cost X plus 100 pesos. I don't know why that is, but that, that, that just, that's a thing, apparently. Next part, we went to a store. My mom found these attachable wood tiles things, and I just went for it. I bought them, kind of irresponsible of me because I think there's a type of wood that can take being drenched in water all the time. I'm not sure if these are it, but the lady said the cashier said it's fine. So, um, I'm gonna be trusting. The tiles didn't fit exactly on the shower space, so we're gonna unscrew the screws, remove them, and snip off the black braces, and saw off the wood. Do that again like 48 times, and then again because your measurements were wrong, and there you go! Voila! I realized that they were a bit too dark, I think. Good thing we live in a world where people have bleach for wood. Yeah! Wood bleach. So we're gonna fix that right up. Paint this first green bottle to the tiles. Wait 30 minutes, then this purple bottle. Be very careful with this one. Wear your gloves to not let it touch your skin. If it does, it's gonna itch and hurt and it's it's, it's not a fun time. Anyway, wait 15 minutes. Apply again and again until it's light as Hannah Montana's hair. And ta-da! 
We don't really use a shower in this house, it's pretty much just a prop. I don't even know why they had that put there in the first place. What we do use is a big bucket and a faucet. And this is me trying my best to make this wood bucket thing work. I thought it would look good with the nature theme. I put it on a stand to get it to the right height. Spray painted the insides white because you literally cannot see if there's water in there or not when the inside is black. I also tried to use two of them for more water storage, but it just... It didn't work. The paint scratched off, two buckets just felt crowded, and one bucket isn't enough for storage, especially if there's no water. So big white drum it is. Doesn't look the best, but it does the job. Little things we have that ties the room together. We have these bamboo and coconut soap holders, a shampoo bottle that I think looks really cool, a small scented candle, which is more expensive than what I thought scented candles cost, a fake plant, stacked with another fake plant that I ended up removing because I didn't like it anymore in the bathroom after a few days. This toothbrush holder and a nice hand soap bottle. Hooks and kabo, which by the way are basically the same type of blue, which is very, very nice. And this woven laundry basket. Last thing, I promise. I got this painting I made a few months ago, remove it from the pad, put it in a frame, but it keeps angling to the other side, which is a problem. And you know what the internet says to fix problems? Put some rice on it. One on each corner, and then it sticks, and voila! Okay, map it out, drill, and place. We have one more frame so you can draw a lion, make your mom color it. She did quite a good job. And then frame, and then hang that one too. And that's it. Still fairly simple, I think, which I like. I was gonna put a fake hanging plant there, but I don't know, felt a bit too much. Anyway, ta da! Okay, thank you, bye.